If you've got 30 minutes, then you've got time to make these fluffy, delicious hamburger buns with only six simple ingredients and no rice. I laid out absolutely everything that we're gonna need to make these hamburger buns from the ingredients to the equipment, just to show you how simple it really is. To start with the ingredients, we're gonna need flour, some kind of vegetable oil. I use avocado, you can also use olive oil. And then we have some yeast here, some maple syrup, some salt, and this is optional, some sesame seeds, and then just two eggs. That is everything that you're gonna need ingredient wise. And then for equipment, I have a bowl, I have some measuring cups, and I have a baking sheet that has some parchment paper in it. That is literally it, and you're gonna have hamburger buns in the next 30 minutes. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is grab my yeast. We're gonna need two tablespoons of yeast. Yes, you heard that correctly, it's two tablespoons. Um, it sounds like a lot, but it's really gonna give your hamburger buns that 30 minute quick that you're looking for. There's two tablespoons, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is grab some warm water. That's the only other thing that I didn't have here because it needs to be warm. And when I say warm, I mean warm, not hot. If it's hot, it's gonna kill your yeast. Okay, now that I have my warm water, I'm just gonna pour that right over my yeast. And then we don't really have to let this sit because I'm using instant yeast, but if you're using active dry yeast, then let it sit for five minutes. And one thing I forgot is we're gonna need a spatula, so I'm gonna grab that now. Okay, we're gonna give this a little mix. And then you also have to remember to work fast with this recipe because it's gonna rise like right in front of your eyes. It's gonna blow up, so work fast. The next thing we're gonna do is add in two tablespoons of maple syrup. And if you don't have maple syrup, you can use honey. You can use sugar, but I really like using maple syrup in my foods because I think it's a really good um, alternative sweetener. So I'm adding in two tablespoons of maple syrup. I'm gonna add in one egg. The other egg that we have is gonna be for egg wash later, so we're not gonna use it right now. I'm gonna add in my one egg. There we go. And then the last thing that I'm adding in here is a third of a cup of the vegetable oil. Um, I'm using avocado oil. So we're just gonna pour that in and into our mixture it goes. We're gonna give this a really good mix. Just break up that egg yolk. Mix, mix, mix. Okay, so now we're ready to add in our flour. Reminder, when we're adding our flour into our measuring cup, we're going to take a spoon to like kind of scoop it into our measuring cup so then we're not taking too much. And we're also going to give our flour a little mix. This creates air bubbles and then it gives you a more accurate read on your flour if you're not using a scale. We're going to need three cups of flour. I'm just going to keep mixing it as I go. Once it's filled all the way like this, I'm going to just level it off and make sure that I have exactly one cup of flour. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to add it into my little mixture. And then I'm going to do this two more times. One thing that I really love about this recipe is that like I use it for hamburger buns, but the fact that it's a 30 minute recipe and I'm being very genuine when I say it comes together start to finish, like baking time, uh, kneading time, everything start to finish 30 minutes and you can use it for other recipes. Like you can do chocolate chips in it and make it like a little chocolate bomb. You can do jalapeno and cheddar. Um, there's just so much that you can do with this recipe. So I'm using it as a hamburger bun recipe, but feel free to make it your own. Okay, so now that I have all my flour incorporated, I'm gonna give this a really quick mix just to get everything mixed together and incorporated. It shouldn't take too long. And then I'm gonna move these all out of the way and we're gonna get to kneading. Oh, I forgot salt, so we're gonna just sprinkle that on there. Um, usually you would add that in with your flour, but just sprinkle it on, it's all good. It's still gonna work perfectly fine. That is what baking is all about. No big deal. <laughs> Shouldn't be hard to get bloopers with me. Okay, so we're gonna keep our flour on hand because this dough is a little bit sticky, so you're probably gonna have to add a little bit more flour when you're kneading. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just sprinkle a little on my work surface so that my dough doesn't stick, and then I'm just gonna take my dough and put it onto my clean, always clean work surface. There you go. The really cool thing about this recipe is that there really is no rise time and it also doesn't take very much kneading. I just add some flour as I go because it gets a little sticky, but it's honestly like pretty pre-kneaded. Like 
it's not a hard dough that you would have to knead for like 10 minutes. It really just wouldn't take even more than five. So I'm just gonna give it a little knead to bring it together. And you're really gonna see this recipe like blooms before your eyes. Like as you're kneading, the dough rises. And that's because of the amount of yeast that we add, but it's a good quick, you know, if it's burger night and you don't wanna run to the store and get hamburger buns, these are ready to go in 30 minutes. So it'll probably take you less time than driving to the store to get them. So once your dough kind of looks like this, everything is nice and soft. We're just gonna turn it a little. We have a little ball and we're gonna divide this. You can do either six or 12 buns, decide, divide, uh, depending on the size that you want your hamburger buns to be. These are, they kind of come out bigger than you think. So I like to do 12 or like eight to 12, but it's really up to you on the size of buns you wanna do. If you wanna do giant burgers, just make six. Okay, I'm gonna roll out my dough a little, just like this, so I can cut it into the, I think I'm gonna do, we're gonna do eight. I've decided on eight. That's the magic number today. Okay, so I'm gonna divide this into eight pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are not very equal, so I might like shift them a little, but to make your hamburger buns, you're just gonna flatten out your piece of dough a little bit and then bring everything to the center to create a little bit of a bunch, just like this. And then smoothen out the top. You can kind of turn it on your work surface. I kind of just, you know, roll it out a little until it looks nice and round, just like that. And I make sure the bottom is smooth as well. And there you have your little hamburger bun shape. Now watch this while I'm making these other ones. It's going to rise before your eyes. I'm really, really tempted to try this recipe with chocolate chips and then like Nutella in the middle and just see like what comes of it. I think it'll be so good. So I might do a video like that next time. Okay. Some commonly asked questions that I get when I'm when it comes to baking bread. One of them is what kind of yeast can I use? Like, do I have to use instant yeast or can I switch out for active dry yeast? You can absolutely switch active dry yeast and instant yeast in any recipe. It's very similar. Um, I like to use instant because then I don't have to wait the extra like 10 minutes for my yeast to bloom because I'm just impatient like that. But if you're using instant yeast, you can just add it straight into your flour and add your water. There's no wait time. But if you're going to use active dry yeast, the only step you're going to take that's different is instead of adding your dry ingredients first, you're going to add your wet ingredients, kind of like what we did today. But then you're going to let it sit for 10 minutes. When it froths up, then you're ready to continue your recipe like you're using instant yeast. Now I'm in a rush, so I'm gonna do these quickly and I'll see you back when these are all shaped. I'm gonna grab my baking sheet and we're gonna plop these all on there. Look at the size difference, it's insane. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add egg wash to these, sprinkle on our sesame seeds, and then they're ready to go in the oven, that's it. Crack our little egg in there. And to your egg wash, just to smooth it out a little, you can add a little bit of water. Okay, we're gonna brush these on to all of our little hamburger buns, just to get them nice and sticky and shiny on the top to add our sesame seeds to. And you don't have to add the sesame seeds. I like sesame seeds on my hamburger buns, but it's really a personal preference. All done. Last step is our sesame seeds. I have these black ones. I think they're called Nigella seeds. I'm not sure. I'm gonna sprinkle those onto my hamburger buns. I love the way they look. They're so freaking cute. There you go. And you might have noticed that we didn't preheat our oven. That's because while our oven is preheating for like 10 minutes, these are gonna sit. That's the only rise time they're ever gonna get. And once our oven is warm, we're gonna pop them in. Okay, our gorgeous hamburger buns are ready to go into the oven. They're gonna go in for 12 to 15 minutes. Keep an eye on them. Once they're golden on the top, you're ready to take them out. And there you have it. Our gorgeous hamburger buns are ready to go. That was it. 30 minutes start to finish. You have to give this a try. Look how fluffy these are. These are perfect for your next hamburger night. I'm gonna cut this to show you the inside as well. Look at how perfect this crumb is. Oh my gosh, smells so good. I can't wait to bite into these with a nice juicy burger.